Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. A very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. I know what you're thinking. This guy is a lot god. This guy is crazy. I'm just a very happy Doctor Who fan because according to the star, we are getting a brand new master and he isn't getting the SJW treatment because shockingly, and this is the biggest shock of all, it's going to be a man. Now, I love the master. He's my favourite Doctor Who villain. I don't care what gender plays the master. I thought Missy was absolutely fantastic. Not particularly having master characteristics, but I thought she was, I thought Michelle was absolutely fantastic in the role. I also love John Sims' master, but I go back to the days of Anthony Ainsley's master, who was, he's my first master, and I'll never forget him and the beard and me. <laughs> and he always moved his head back. Ah! It was a bit like a Skeletor in the He-Man cartoon. So, according to the star, um, they are going to cast a male master. It's great to be having the master back again. Um, what this showrunner will do in terms of Chris Chibnall, I don't know. I don't have much trust in him. In terms of Broadchurch and what he did, the man's a genius. He's a great writer, but he hasn't proved himself with Doctor Who yet. There's no question about that. I can also tell you right now exclusively something that nobody else will tell you. People like Mr. Tardis won't tell you this, but Mr. Chibnall was um, uh, was um, told to go to, for a big, big important meeting about two, uh, three months um, after the season finished to talk um, to BBC America executives because they were not happy with the results of season 11. They were never happy with the results of season 11, but they thought um, the public may, may react differently, uh, but the public had a, had a mixed response, didn't they? And that was the problem there. Some people loved it and defended it, mostly SJWs, and um, the rest of us diehards weren't very happy at all. Now, I'm not just talking about classic who diehards. I'm talking about RTD diehards, Stephen Moffat diehards. Even they didn't like Doctor Who season 11. So who did? Well, people who had never followed Doctor Who before. People who don't give a shit about Doctor Who. So, so the remit was from BBC America to Chris Chibnall. You know, if you do not change the agenda, the narrative of the new season of Doctor Who, then you will, you will go and so will Jodie Whittaker. So basically they are on probation, they are on trial, um, Chris Chibnall knows he cannot mess about with SJW commentary and political commentary. People don't want that. Yes, there's been political commentary um, in Doctor Who, but when I watch a TV show or a film, so I tell you what I don't want, a headache from being bashed over the head with a, a Chibnall sledgehammer, because a Chibnall sledgehammer really hurts. So he has been put in his place. He has been told to do a lot better with Doctor Who. And this is what the article says, and I haven't even read it. Knowing the star, it's probably a sentence or something. Doctor Who bosses are in secret talks to bring back his old enemy, the Master. So secret, you know about it. And they are going back to the old days and casting a male actor back in the iconic role of the legendary TV villain. Going back to the old days because it's such backward thinking, isn't it, to cast a male, uh, you know, to cast a male in a role that's predominantly always been male, apart from one moment, right? So I must say again, though, Michelle was absolutely fantastic as Missy. And I don't have, I never had a problem with a female master. I would have had a problem if it was a shit female master, like I would have had a problem with any shit male master. The master, a rebel time lord, has battled the Doctor in the BBC sci-fi since, in the BBC sci-fi since, I think they mean the BBC sci-fi show since, 1971. He has been portrayed over the years by the late act, by late actors Roger Delgado and Anthony Ainley, not Ainsley, sorry about that, as well as Derek Jacobi and John Sim. Jacobi was amazing as well, wasn't he? In 2014, showrunner Stephen Moffat delivered a twist by having the master regenerate into a woman called Missy, played by Michelle Gomez. Her character was killed off in 2017. It now paves the way for a new incarn incarnation of the master to face Jodie Whittaker. Jodie Whittaker's 13th Doctor. A source said fans will be thrilled. He's coming back. Show boss Chris Chibnall has already teased he will bring back some old faces, including the Jadoon and the Cybermen, when the new series airs in 2020. 
And that's it. I told you it's a star and they can't write for long. But anyway, there's enough to go on, right? We already know that he's bringing back the Jadoon, right? This is proof of what I've told you. And what I've told you is not lies. It ain't a rumour. I know it for a fact because my sources, and I do have sources at BBC America because of um, when I first got involved and fell in love with what RTD, RTD did with Doctor Who, I, I made some quick friends in the industry because I'm already part of the industry, very similarly, um, mainly in Cyprus, but you do meet people and talk to people wherever you're involved in the industry. It doesn't matter how big or how small. So I know that Chibnall had a good, good talking to, and he was told, you know, to bring back the, the, the old feel, the excitement that fans used to have for Doctor Who. So he's going to be bringing back, yes, old faces. He kind of resisted, didn't he, last year, doing anything from the past. He did bring back the Daleks, but again, that was BBC America telling him, you've got to do something here. People want to see Daleks. People want to see the Master. So a lot of old enemies will be back. Um, who knows if they'll be done well. He has to change his tactics, and he also has to let other writers have freedom to put forward their ideas for their own episodes, rather, because, you know, at the end of the day, normally, with the old showrunner system, he will say to the writers, right, this is what I want, you can write what you want to a point, but make sure you represent this, this part of my arc or that, where, well, with a, write, with a writer's room, there's a group of people, right, and everyone kind of talks and has great ideas, and sometimes those ideas will be agreed upon. And sometimes, you know, it's, it's kind of like when you're voting for prime minister, it's, it's a majority rule. So they'll say something like, look, the ship has sailed on that idea, and then they move on very quickly. And it's a really good system, right? I mean, I do work within that system, and I have a lot of fun working in that system, but Chibnall has misunderstood the writer's room system. So... Last year, he, mo he, he wrote a predominant, a predominant amount of the episodes. And you could tell, and he seemed to get lost. I thought the first two or three episodes were pretty interesting. I quite kind of liked them. Um, and then I think when we got from episode four onwards, the thing was a, was a mediocre, boring car crash. So he's definitely been spoken to by the BBC, BBC America. And so his idea now is basically to bring back some familiar kind of characters and villains. So it's going to be very interesting who's going to be reunited with the Doctor in terms of enemies and old friends. Will Barrowman finally be back? Well, let me tell you something. Barrowman's like a used car salesman now. I follow him on Instagram. The guy is desperate. He's always telling people, you know, begging people to go to his concerts and this. He doesn't really seem to get any real roles anymore either. So I think he could do with a job, and I think we'd all be excited to see him back with all that um, dark brown um, hair dye back in his hair, because he is actually naturally grey, he, he dyes his hair. I don't know if you knew that. You see, if you followed him in Insta on Instagram, you'd already know that. So I want your opinion on this. Are you excited that um, the Master's returning? Does it bother you whether it's a male or a female? I'm shocked because they're so obsessed with... Um, female representation, I thought we'd definitely see another woman, but it does look like the BBC have said, look, enough with the SJW commentary, right? The representation thing, you've got, you know, you've got a mixture of cast members there, so stop hitting people over the head with the hammer and give them great Doctor Who. But it doesn't necessarily mean we will get great Doctor Who. I'm a slightly more hopeful, but I have heard rumours of this musical episode, and that worries me. If that was true, I'm out. I'm sorry, I don't want a Doctor Who musical episode. I don't like musical episodes as a whole, so I don't want them. But I do want your feedback. I, I want to know what you think about this. I'm just excited the Master's coming back, and let's hope Jodie's Doctor can finally actually be the Doctor and actually be clever, because she wasn't clever. She wasn't thinking for herself during the, fir the whole run of her first season, season 11. So hopefully they write her more as the Doctor, and, you know, she's a female. That shouldn't mean she has to be that different. She still has to be the Doctor. So please comment down below. Please like, share and subscribe. Pass the video around and there'll be more Doctor Who videos as we get to the future. And there should be um, some breaking news about a Christmas episode in the next few weeks too. People are talking to me about that. When, I, when I'm able to reveal that, it will be revealed 
here first because of the sources I have. So if you love Doctor Who, you should be clicking subscribe to my channel. Do it.